How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Good morning! The sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. you there hello oh no the lens is broken on my camera hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i've decided today to do in fact let me just move you down here so i can actually sit down i decided to do a kind of vlog style video today i was in the mood i am solo pretty much all afternoon and evening today because tom is at the boxing with some friends and some work colleagues so i thought i would pick up the camera and vlog today so we've had a really productive morning so far i've gone for a nice lovely walk we've done a tip run i've got some washing on the go we had a lovely little breakfast on the go as well we actually went to two cafes we went to um the walk that we like to do is in didsbury along the mersey because barney's a swimmer and he loves the water there so in didsbury there's a cafe nero which um we went to for a coffee and then we went to our favorite bakery for some pastries which is called La Chiquette. It's like a French owned bakery that if you're local to Didsbury, you just have to try. It, they're amazing. I get a pan of chocolat and Tom gets a shop, um, what's it called? Pan Suisse. So there we go. So um, I decided to vlog today. I have a couple of parcels that I wanted to share with you, some Amazon bits some new shoes that i've got which i'm very excited for and what else do i have to share oh in fact what i do want to do seeing as though we're solo today is take a little venture out to wilco's which is now dog friendly so me and barney will have a little adventure out it's right by mcdonald's drive through as well so may even treat myself to a little solo lunch at mcdonald's today i have a really exciting dinner planned actually which i'll show you as well pasta evangelist if ever you've heard of it. it's like a delivery pasta service i've ordered some bits from there so hopefully they'll arrive today and we can cook some a nice yummy pasta tonight have a bit of a movie night and that's on my agenda for today so i hope you're relaxed and comfy and are ready for my vlog i love a good chatty lengthy unboxing style vlog video so i hope you guys will enjoy this too i did also want to mention just quickly um as i've just done like my hair now and my curlers are actually sat out so i thought i might as well show show you what i actually use these are the ghd curves which are i think there's only one size barrel to these i use these in fairly big sections curl up kind of like this like away from my face hold it for like 10 seconds and then i always just hold the curl for they're still a bit warm i always just hold the curl for a couple of seconds and then once my hair is styled i just run it through like with some oil through the ends and a little little bit of hairspray just to hold the curl for a few days and this will probably last me that um i'd say twice a week i wash my hair so yeah that is what i use i did also get sent these actually recently which i'm yet to try out let me know if you want me to do maybe a little review slash tester of these these are the new ghd thin ones curve thin ones for thin curls look how tiny that is in comparison so these are more of i'm guessing like the kirk kirk 
corkscrew style curls which I have tried once on my hair before and it was a little wild I'm not gonna lie I think I prefer the more relaxed undone curls so of the two I would probably recommend the regular GHD curve I'm wearing this sweatshirt a lot recently it's got these little thumb hooks thumb hole, thumb hole detail cut out things which you may have seen in my recent I say Zara haul even though it's from H&M because I did include a few H&M bits at the end of it but I love it it is fresh out the wash though so there's a little little creasing on there which let's face it I'm just too lazy to iron out so yeah this is from H&M I'll leave it linked they did sell out of this color but they've got a blue but this one, just in case it's come back in store, I'll leave it linked anyway, so you can check that. I feel like whilst I'm here, I might as well show you some everyday makeup essentials that I've been loving too, seeing as though I've just done my maquillage, my makeup. This bag, lifesaver. Got this for Christmas from the Flat Lay Company this is from. I've noticed a few people on my videos recently talking about my skin and how like my makeup looks really nice. My makeup base, which firstly, thank you. That's so lovely of you. Secondly, it's a trick. I haven't been doing much different, but the camera that I use to do my sit down videos, it has a kind of face blur. You can turn it down, which I have. But if you turn it all the way up, it really like blurs out your pores and it just makes your skin look flawless, which I, I don't love. I'm not going to lie. I don't love the fact that it can be that extreme. So that's why I turn it down. But it does slightly blur out my face. So that's why. But I'll just show you my skin a bit more close up so you can see up close and personal. A hero product of mine has come back on the market. This is incredible. They stopped it whilst they were reformulating the SPF or something or other. So Clarins BB Cream, Skin Detox Fluid. I actually wear the shade 00 Fair. Sometimes I go 01 or 02 in the summer, but this, it kind of like works with your skin tone. It's quite a light feel, like I feel like I've got nothing on my skin but actually quite good coverage, especially for a BB cream. I wear no foundation or anything, just this, and concealer. Concealer I always use is the Collection Lasting Perfection. The bronzer that I use is the Chanel uh, Soleil de Tan or whatever it's called, and then sometimes I'll also go in with Hoola. The Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil, I use the shade Warm Brunette, it's a super fine tip, and then this on the top, the Refi. In fact, it just kind of like brushes through your brows but holds them up really nicely. I mean, you can go all the way and brush them all the way up, but I have quite long eyebrows, so I tend to just brush through them a little bit so they stay in place. And sorry, I'm using the viewfinder, but it's quite hard to do without a mirror. Lips, I always go in with the number seven Stay Perfect Lip Pencil in Nude. This I've used for years. I have never found one as good. I have a couple that I use sometimes but that's my favorite and then i just go in with a lip balm or this if i'm feeling a little tingle see this camera is nowhere near as good as the other one for autofocus there we go two face lip injection tingles a bit but i quite like that feeling if i'm wearing eyeshadows i use the charlotte tilbury these are the shades that i tend to go for this is the pillow talk palette instant eye palette i think that's it i mean blush i just use nars orgasm i use the iconic london illuminators laura mercier powder if i use any and that's that so yeah they are some of my faves i do have a bit of filming to do so i'm gonna go film make coffee and then chat with you through some new in bits that i'm buying for the house hours later more finished filming made an absolute tip this is the last video that i've just uploaded so you will have seen it already it's the supermarket haul or oh, in fact whilst i'm here i'm just gonna redo this fire set i popped it here the other day just to remind myself to do it and i'm yet to do it because if you'll see my fireside reed diffuser is pretty much all out so I've got this refill. I've actually got another fireside refill because I love this scent so much. Um, they last, how long do these last? I don't know, but uh, 12 weeks. So I wanted to kind of prolong this fireside into the new year as much as possible. I need scissors. 
seeing as though it is an absolute favourite of mine. And they only do it at sort of Christmas time. And even then, they bring it out quite late. Well, at least they did last year anyway. So I thought for 2022, I'm going to stock up and make sure I've got plenty. And then I've also got this room spray as well, which I love. So what I love about these refills that you get, you get a little spout to pour it in nice and neatly. And then you also get fresh reeds with it, which I believe helps with the prolonging of the scent. I think just switching out your reeds is just meant to be quite good for a reed diffuser that lasts a long time. Smoked woods and vanilla, honestly, just the best. Pour this in, it should be hopefully the exact amount. There was a tiny bit left in here though, so hopefully it won't overflow. No, perfect. Didn't even need the pipettes pourer type thing. To be completely honest, I just forgot that that was there. Dip them in, switch them around, and then I tend to switch them, I'd say once a week. I tend to just flip them upside down so that it keeps the scent smelling nice and strong. There we go. I'm just gonna blow out the candle. I'm gonna clean that room in a bit. Oh, in fact, let me just turn the ring light off. I'm always, I tend to do this whenever I film. I like to film, create a bit of a mess, get it done, walk away, come back and deal with that later. That is part of the role. I also brought this up because I need to hoover at some point today. Look at this cutie pie sleeping at the bottom of the stairs. You've got such a lovely comfy bed in there. I think you like to sleep by the front door, don't you? Chief guard dog. <laughs> Oh, that's a big stretch. I figured I might as well share with you the um, Amazon bits that I've ordered and that have arrived. I'm gonna show you these as well. Okay, I'm gonna have to just pop you there. Hope that you don't drop. And carry you through into, I think we'll go in the front room. Oh my goodness, I've just dropped the boxes everywhere. Ah! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take you upstairs. Hi, bud. Because there's nowhere I need to put you in here. Unless I can pop you there on the windowsill. Um, yeah, that'll do. And then you can sit with me and do a little unboxing with me. Loves the back scratch, don't you? Right. I've got from Amazon a couple of new bits which I thought I would get for the home. Firstly, these which I needed, some tea lights. I used to get from Asda the eight hour burn tea lights, which are good for my uh, little wax melt burner. And they don't seem to sell them anymore, at least they're not online. And the last couple of times I've been into an Asda, I've not found them. So I just thought, well, you know what? They're on Amazon, I'll just pick them up. And not only that, I got them in clear cases, which if you know me, you know that I prefer that to the silver case that they do and they're just unscented, good for a wax melt burner. Speaking of which, I thought I would treat myself to uh, some nicer wax melts. I love the Asda ones, the Cuddle Up Tonka Nude, we all know that, but a little bit more bougie ones I spotted and thought, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself. Wild sage and sea salt, I guess that's good for moving into, oh, you're tired, moving into spring and summer. But if I just peep open the tissue paper there, you'll see that the wax melts have got a gorgeous design on. I feel like I could reuse this box when I'm all out of these ones to maybe store my Asda ones that I like and just pop them in this little box because yeah, I just thought the box looked lovely. Now, this one was a bit of a fail because I did pick up this um, in warm cashmere, one of the Yankee Candle wax melts, and it came open. So who knows how long that's been open. I can't smell it anymore, so that to me is going straight in the bin because I feel like, it, if anything, it smells a bit off. I mean, it was only a pound something, but still, it was a pound something that I was hoping to use and I don't feel like I can, so uh, yeah, anyway. I also got this little clip-on light. It's like a selfie light for your phone, which you can clip on the front for the front camera or the back camera. I'm gonna have to charge up 
with the little USB charger. But I saw Ruby Holly talk about this on one of her vlogs and it looked really good. So I thought I would just pick it up. It was only about six or seven pounds. Can't resist an Amazon haul, purchase, whatever, without a new coffee table book. This is the Kinfolk Table by Nathan Williams. And what I love about this, well, I bought another Kinfolk book and I took off the cover and it reveals, honestly, a gorgeous book underneath. Like, even if you don't want the kind of cover on, this is like a little hack of mine that I like to do is either take off the cover and if you want white books, switch it out inside out so that the cover is white. Or in this instance, the Kinfolk books are beautiful just on their own. So they're nice and neutral in colour. This one's quite a darker, linen-y, textured look uh, book. The other one that I've got is a real bright stone light colour and it's embossed. This one's not embossed, it's just printed on the Kinfolk table. Recipes for small gatherings. And then obviously the actual book itself is a brilliant book. They have some great photography kinfolk. So yeah, I'm really happy with that purchase. So this is the most random purchase. It was actually like a recommended purchase type thing that popped up and I saw it and I thought, that's lovely. It's a sealing wax kit. I thought this would be nice to seal up your Christmas cards if you had a wedding for wedding invites would look beautiful and then it's kind of like a DIY all you need to then repurchase in the future is tea lights for heating it up and then the actual wax melts themselves so it comes with loads though I went for gold and all you do is you just get your little spoon and then the tea light but again any tea light will do it's just to heat it up you pop the little wax in there and then pour it onto the seal of your envelope and then stamp it. And again, they had loads of different stamp uh, patterns. I just quite liked this simple, is it fern or lavender or some kind of leaf print that I just thought would look lovely. Obviously you can get um, custom made ones with your initials. The last thing that I got, I did it. I got some Crocs. I remember these white ones being sold out so much last year. Um, I kept refreshing and trying to find my size anywhere I could in the white ones, couldn't find them. And then I'd seen that they had loads of stock on Amazon just come in. The amount of times I just potter out this back door, taking the dog out, currently without any fence panels because of the storm in the back garden. And we're now besties with the neighbors. We need to make sure Barney doesn't run out there. So whenever I take him out into the garden, I take him now. I don't just let him out into the garden, especially with builders about and things as well. So anyway, my point being, these are so handy for doing that. I'm not gonna be wearing these out and about, supermarket shopping or anything. I'm not gonna style them up. They're purely convenience. I'm really trying to justify a Crocs purchase, but there we go. ASOS, this is another Thank you for becoming fashionable. It is a pair of Uggs. I went for a size seven. I'm usually a six to a six and a half. My other rugs that I have, I've honestly worn so much, but they are, they're not ultra minis. They're not minis. They're like the next one up from that. So they're like halfway up my calf and they're in a chocolate brown color, which I love, but they are definitely a, they're fast becoming a shoe that I've been wearing down in the basement, taking the dog out for a walk, not like muddy walks, but you know, just roadside walks where I wanna be comfy and cozy. So uh, they're not exactly to style those ones, whereas these ones are definitely obviously more trend led, these ultra minis. Um, and so I saw this color and it was honestly the color that sold it to me. I've not purchased any ultra minis prior to this purely because I just thought mm, I've got my other rugs am I gonna wear them however having said that this color is a color that I've been wearing so much of lately which is a beautiful I mean they call it antelope but I would say it's like a khaki light khaki color and even the inside lining is the same color as well you've got your little ug on the back they're so cozy that i just thought do you know what i'm gonna get quite a lot of wear out of these i think so let me just i probably wear them with an outfit similar to what i'm wearing today actually like leggings an oversized sweatshirt some socks i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these they're a lot comfier or easier to get on than 
um, if I were to get a six or a six and a half. My other rugs that I've got are a six and a half, but because of the, the way that they're cut, the Ultra Minis, I feel like they're quite hard to get on, or they can be. So I would size up, seven for me is perfect. Excuse this, I need to hoover down here as well. Bits of Barney's tug toy on the floor, but yeah. Love them, I'm a fan, thumbs up. Let's head to Wilco's and grab a Mackey's too en route home because that's what I'm craving right now. Except I'm gonna put these back in their box and <laughs> get out my other rugs. Anyone else do that? Just not want to trash new items, so just kind of save them. Pretty big queue. You're a regular now, aren't you, pal? You know exactly where we are. I think he's learnt that McDonald's usually equals chicken nuggets. Wilco's was a success. Barney got loads of attention. That was predicted. I mean, I am biased. It's funny, actually, because he's a golden retriever, but quite often he'll, I'll, I'll get asked um, what breed he is. And obviously everyone knows what a golden retriever is, but I think because of the way that Barney's built with his dad having been um, from like working line, he's very lean, athletic, and his fur's not that long. So he, although he's a 100% golden retriever, Barney's mum and dad are both like very opposite. His mum is like short and stockier, very fluff ball, whereas his dad is, yeah, that more working line and very dark in colour as well, hence why he's a little bit darker, even though he's the lightest pop of the litter. Most of them are, are almost like a red. He was like a boy. Overall, it was a very positive experience. I definitely take him back there, especially when it is like today, right? Very miserable outside and raining and wet and cold and horrible sometimes just to get him out have a bit of an explore sniff around somewhere new i just wish more shops would do it as well this is why i like um this girl's looking at me in the mcdonald's and they can tell i'm vlogging which is so awkward i'm just gonna go on my phone and pretend that i'm sat on the phone chatting to someone yeah, yeah. <laughs> no let me just vlog i'm never gonna see them again um what was I going to say? Okay, this is why I like going to Cheshire Oaks. Because if you didn't know Cheshire Oaks outlets, they're all, all the shops are dog friendly, or at least majority of them. It's the ones with the little paw prints in the windows. However, I'm yet to see a shop without a paw print in, it, in the window. So even the restaurants as well, you can go and have some nice food. So I love going to Cheshire Oaks for that reason, the fact that we can take Barney. So I wish more shops would do it. I know John Lewis, we've got John Lewis near us that does it. And we, I've not been shopping there with him yet so maybe that's the next port of call but yeah Wilco's is on board with pet friendly shopping I get I get why some people don't like it not everyone are dog lovers but when there's departments that are specifically dog friendly mind you even not like John Lewis isn't and neither's Cheshire Oaks and they're all dog friendly anyway I loved it I did get some bits so I'll share with you what I got when I get back and as for now oh there's a free lane I'm not concentrating as for now, McDonald's order time. Hi, can I get a double cheeseburger with no pickles? Yeah. A um, six chicken nuggets. Yeah. Medium fries, please. Yeah. And I'll try the mozzarella dippers as well, please. Yeah, anything else? Um, a small diet coke. Yeah, that is good. That's it. Thank you. Good to see you next week. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, you're all right. Hi. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Turn that radiator off. It's cold. Isn't it cold, Barney? Isn't it cold? 
you know what's in that bag. Don't you? You know, you can smell it. Get his best tricks out when I've got chicken nuggets in my hand. Barney, speak. <laughs> the remote let me just pause this i've just started watching two episodes in the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window on netflix bit of a mouthful to say that um enjoyed my mcdonald's craving something sweet now so i might have like coffee and some biscuits maybe this afternoon watch a couple more episodes i feel like now is the perfect time because this sort of a series is not for tom it's kind of it reminds me a bit of Desperate Housewives, the way that it's sort of filmed. But yeah, I'm enjoying it so far, so I'm gonna sit back and relax and watch a couple of episodes of that this afternoon. I still haven't had my pasta evangelist order, which I was hoping that would arrive for my dinner tonight, but never mind. I thought I would, just before I settle in, make myself a cup and some bickies. I thought I'd show you what I did pick up from Wilkinson's. I did actually go to a shop called Yusk, J-Y-S-K. There's a new one in Stockport, which isn't too far from me, so I thought I would have a venture. I've been to one in Oldham before, but that was a bit further away, so I thought I would, thought I would go to the Stockport one, try it out, and it was good. It was, I picked up a few bits, so I feel like I might as well share with you what I got there as well. Let me head upstairs, because I feel like a ring light might be necessary in this light this afternoon it's starting to get a little bit darker back to the room that's a mess let's start with this let's show a bit of support for a small business feather my nest is a company that i included within my small businesses gift guide that i did for christmas for like christmas gift ideas she very kindly sent me this i had no idea it was coming it was just a couple of new in-store items that she thought I may like and she's opening a new store in March which is very exciting. So they are based 42 High Street, Upper Mill. I think that's Olden Way. So maybe if you're planning a trip to JYSK. So cute little box of goodies which I thought was so kind of her. So I thought I would share with you some bits if you are local to her. So this cute little rabbit, little bunny for Easter. I really want to do a trip to Home Sense and check out the Easter decor because I've not been yet and I love a seasonal shop and I feel like Home Sense is a great place to go to for seasonal items. So anyway, this cute little wooden heart. Also new wax melts in the scent Lavender with Clary Sage for Relax, Distress and Power. These are from the Candle brand based in Norfolk. That Okay, that smells better than the Amazon ones. I'm gonna recommend these over the Amazon ones. They smell so good. And then also from the candle brand, I can't get over how nice they smell. She also stocks this at Feather My Nest, which is English Pear and Freesia Refresh Calm and Heal the Flower Diffuser. Oh, I've seen these. So the little wooden flowers like that and the scent goes up through them and the actual bottle looks like so really pretty lovely branding oh and then this label has been embedded with wild flower seeds that you can plant what a genius concept one more thing in here which is a little vase which is so adorable it's got a gorgeous kind of stone ceramic finish with this little like beading design excuse my nails i need to get my nails done actually i was going to do it in this vlog but i feel like i might save it for in a couple of days time i'm going to meet up with my friend lydia and another friend as well nina you'll know lydia 
Um, she's got a new puppy. I'm so happy for her. So I'm gonna go to meet the new pup and go for a nice ladies who lunch afternoon. Cannot wait to meet little Ottie, bless him, he's so cute. Let's go Wilco's now, and um, I did get a couple of, seeing as I was there with Barney, I did treat him to a couple of dog toys. They had this ball-shaped sheep, which I think he'll really enjoy, because he likes balls, he likes tug of war, which I feel like best of both with this one. And then I also picked up this tough toy from Rosewood, which is good, because again, he likes the tug of war toys, which this will be a bit more durable, you've got the tug, but then you've also got the ability to fill it with treats, or like peanut butter or something, which will just keep him occupied for a while. And then I also got a couple of cleaning products, I got some floor wipes, these are really good, because they're nice and big, and last a lot longer than normal normal wipes. I always go for floor wipes, but even use them all over different surfaces. Uh, lemon and mandarin, love a citrus scent. And then I've seen this from Pet Fabuloso. It's in the scent Alpine Mist, which sounds lovely. It's, it reminds me of something else. Maybe the winter mornings of Flora. That's kind of what it reminds me of, quite fresh smelling smell. I also picked up some because I needed that and then also some hair clips and a dry shampoo I thought I would try this one because it's a dry shampoo and volume I guess got a bit of like hairspray as well as the dry shampoo in it I have only washed my hair yesterday but Let's see how it compares to the one that I'm used to oh it smells lovely oh yeah oh wow okay so that feels a bit more Mm, kind of hairspray like but not not stiff hairspray like a uh, feels like I'm putting more product in my hair than just a dry shampoo if that makes sense wow look at that Woo! love it then I also got for my bathroom I thought this would look lovely on my bath tray I like to switch out and style it different every every so often I have a switch up and I thought this would look lovely on there it's got a little rope and it's called a well it's just a loofah a rough textured loofah for washing your bath with and then i also just got some some cotton pads so yes let's just share with you a couple of bits that i did pick up from there it's a very it's like a scandy how do you describe it? it's like a scandy brand a bit like an ikea smaller though it's much smaller than an ikea but uh it's like all the well i was gonna say all the smaller bits that you get in ikea but they do actually have bigger furniture items as well i picked up this just plain cylinder vase i've got a couple of vases one small too small to ever really have a bunch of flowers in and then one which is from ikea shaped like um it kind of has a little lip at the top which i love but i quite like the plain sort of cylinder to this shape and it was only five pounds that's the brand if you can see on the bottom jysk so i picked up a cushion inner and cushion cover as well to go together in 50 by 50 the cushion inner is a good choppable cozy feather filled one that feels lovely and the pillowcase or cushion cover i should say that i got to go with it i just loved this it's very Zara home that kind of linen natural textures I love in our home so it does have a little not branding but little wording there how nice is that font it just says essentials pure linen and the place I'm thinking about putting this is in our spare bedroom there's currently like a big cushion on there that's a like a faux fur cushion which we've got one in our living room so I was thinking about putting both of those just in the living room on the sofa so I thought this, because it's a bit big really for that spare room, so I thought this would look lovely on that bed instead. Let's put it on and see what it looks like and you can give me your opinion on whether or not I should keep the current one there or switch it out. I need to just take my thumbs out the thumb holes. <laughs> or switch it out for this linen one. Am I going to regret not getting two of these? That was the question. Let me just carry through and just quickly try this on the spare bed and see what you guys think. <laughs> see what you think so we have like i said that big fluffy kind of cushion there currently i thought this linen would look better than the faux fur this is option one Ta -da! or option two i think it's a far better size for in here i'll be honest definitely didn't iron these uh 
pillowcases. I think I prefer the second option. I think it's quite a nice colour that ties in with the throw as well. I've got to tell you prices. The cushion cover was £4 and the inner cushion was £6. This beach bag they cut it as was £7.50. However, I'm thinking of it more for throwing in the boot of my car and having either loads of spare bags in for when I do like food shopping or even just using this in itself as like a food shopping bag. I don't think it would fit a full food shop in, but it would certainly get, you know, like if you're going to a fresh market or something with just fruit and veg in the summer, there's a few nice food markets around near where we live. So I feel like as the weather warms up, that's gonna be a little fun outing of ours, maybe on a weekend. So yeah, I mean, I just love it. You can even style these up in your house and put use it as a log basket or put a throw in and make it look all cozy. And for £7.50, I thought that was really good. The last thing that I picked up was in sort of a bathroom section. It's this mango wood tray, which is only small and dainty. But how nice is the finish of this? It's really rustic and you'd almost think that this would just be a one-off piece rather than something that they sell loads of. I just love the kind of irregularity and the colour and the shape and it's it dips slightly. So I guess with it being with the bathroom stuff, its intention is as maybe a little soap dish or a little tray for maybe beside your bed to throw in your little jewellery and coins and keys. Let me come a bit closer up so you can see the finish. Oh, I just love it. Again, Zara Home, something like that that I'd imagine that in. And £4.99 I think is very reasonable. So that's what I quite like about this gives its affordability. Prices are fairly cheap. So that's everything that I picked up from those places. I need to switch out my battery because it's flashing. Barney actually got some PR today, didn't you? Didn't you, bud? Yeah, I call this dog Bud or Buddy more than I do Barney. <laughs> is anyone else who has a dog just have so many nicknames for said dog? But yeah, Wild... F no, Wild for Dogs, that's another brand that I love. Digby, which is a range from Bramley Products suitable for dogs. Their new Wonder Balm, which is so kind of them. I love using a little balm for um, Barney's nose and paws, especially in the colder weather. If it gets a little bit cold and he gets a little cracked paws. I mean, they're not bad, but I just like to use a balm or something so this is with vitamin e chamomile essential oil so it's completely pet safe you know if they lick it it doesn't matter it's not going to harm them should we pop a little bit on him now i feel like because he's fairly chilled that's always the best time to put on a balm and just warm it up in my palms pop a little bit on your nose which you'll try and lick off and pop a little bit on your paw paws so that you can chill out it's always best to do it when they're snoozing because then they'll kind of leave it alone and not walk all over it you give me kisses oh thank you rub it in your nose <laughs> that's a good boy no oh, licking it it smells lovely doesn't it it smells amazing Say thanks, Bramley Products. I think it's someone's dinner time. We have completed the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the house whatever it's called <laughs> i can't believe i've completed it all afternoon that's what we've been watching back to back and to be honest he's been asleep the entire time so that morning walk must have tired him out now i was fully hoping <laughs> hoping for um pastor evangelist to turn up however i've seen on their website that they their delivery can be as late as 9 p.m <laughs> and i've had no updates or anything so that's gonna have to wait for another day i think the only thing is that leaving it as late as 9 p.m 
I'm in bed by 9 p.m. So that's a late delivery. Especially tonight, seeing as though dad's having a late one. I reckon Barney can come to bed with me tonight. Oh. Because I don't have pasta evangelist to cook, but I was in the mood for pasta, I did pick up this the other day from Asda. And I'm thinking I might use this. So it's a Heinz tomato mascarpone sauce. Um, and then I've either got gnocchi to go with it or rigatoni. So let's try and decide which one I'm gonna go for. So we need to get a, a pot of boiling water on. We need to get Barney's dinner ready. I really thought about investing into, when we do up the kitchen, maybe a hot tap. You know, one of the ones that you can just automatically have hot water, like instantly. Uh, let me know if any, any of you have it and if you think it's worth it. Oh, this looks delicious. Look at the recipe they've included on the back. Goat's cheese and spinach rigatoni. That looks lovely. Maybe we'll try that one day. I'm a pasta lover. I feel like if I could only have one food for the rest of my life, one type of cuisine, it'd have to be Italian. Here we have it. Freshly baked gnocchi, a little bit of grated cheese on there because I'm a lover of cheese, <laughs> salt and pepper, and then a little side rocket and tomato salad. Mmm, very creamy. They do have different flavours, but I think this one would be my favourite. Not for you. It's the most wonderful time of the day make off i literally have nowhere to put you in this bathroom maybe on the windowsill i am going to put my feet up i've had a lovely dinner i'm all full up of course there's still room for pudding so i'm not going to clean my teeth just yet but i feel like having completed that series i feel like a movie tonight maybe so i might grab some popcorn or snacks. I might have some of these little mints that I bought from Sainsbury's because they are pretty yum. Don't know if I'd buy them again, but only because they're a five pound ago, but they're okay. I like them. I'm not obsessed with them, but yeah, I feel like they'd be nice and refreshing. So I'm just using my Espar Micellar Water. This is a purifying micellar cleanser, which is good for just removing all my makeup. I haven't worn makeup in a couple of days and I've not even got much on, just my everyday base, but there's still nothing better than removing all your makeup at night. I'm gonna try a new product I was sent actually. Let me go get it. Change of heart. I was gonna try a new L'Oreal one that I've been sent. I forgot I had this from the Mer that I still haven't used. I'm seeing as though I love the Le Mer moisturizer. I'm gonna try their cleansing gel. I do love Le Mer products. And then I'm going to end it with, in fact, toner. Pixie toner, this is the glow tonic that they sent me. And then after I've used that toner, I'll then go in with Kiehl's cream. Quite a bit, but you never know with a new product if you need to be generous with it or not. <laughs> I feel like you definitely need to use a lot less than what I've used. It smells nice. I love these towels because they're the perfect colour for removing makeup. It's also texture as well, because I feel like because of the waffle, they just take off a load of makeup. 
It's from, um, I've got the large towels as well. They're from Magic Linen, which is the same place I got that throw on our spare bed from. Couple of cups of toner. I've also started moisturising a lot more my neck because I've found that I'm getting quite a few necklines and the best way to kind of fix that is to avoid it. So great skin care, make sure it's nice and moisturised and um, to not be looking down at your phone all the time, which is definitely what I'm guilty for. Even sometimes when I'm sat in a position watching TV, I can feel myself looking like that. I'm like, well, that's where I'm getting my necklines from. All moisturized, feeling clean and fresh, ready to get into some PJs and get some snacks on the go with a movie. Oh, I'm gonna put some Carmex on as well, I think, actually. And then chill with my baby boy. Another thing that I've been doing regularly is my journaling so these are my two journals that I do every single day and then the five minute journal I just do kind of more on really random occasions just as and when I feel like it so I'm going to go in with my one line a day first what shall I do to sum up today Oh, first time going into Wilco's, dog friendly Wilco's, first trip of many. And now my today journal, this is from Inspired Stories and it's even personalised with my little FF on there. I've really enjoyed filling out this three year reflection journal, this one, not five years. So um, what it is, is it's a question a day that you can fill out. So the question for today was did you drink enough water today nice and simple but a nice little reflection because drinking water is so important definitely something i need to do more of and i do try in fact i've not been too bad today so last year i put probably not i go through phases of drinking enough and i notice having better skin slash no headaches and that's very true so today i'm going to say yes but combined with a few coffees and Diet Cokes too. Well, I've had one today. I'm gonna have a second tonight because Diet Coke is my absolute weakness. I feel like if you could only drink one drink for the rest of your life, aside from water, mine would be Diet Coke. So I have my little snack bowl. I've given Barney a snack as well. I'm going to lie horizontal for the rest of the evening, eat my popcorn and my little moon, the coconut one I've gone for, and just find a good old chick flick movie. Nice, light-hearted. Decided against a Diet Coke after my question of the day in my journal. It's encouraged me to just finish my water for the rest of the evening, watch my movie, cuddles with Barney, and then head on up to bed. So I hope you've enjoyed my day, spending the day with me. Let me know if you want more vlogs like this. So thank you so, so much for watching. Have an amazing Sunday or rest of your week, whatever day you're watching this. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.